In the audio community, there's a lot of debate over gain staging. Some people say you should run your audio levels hot into your plugins, and some say you should run them at much more conservative levels. In this video, we're going to cover how to set our audio regions at optimal levels, the way a lot of big name mixers set them. And then I'm going to show you how to come up with quick static mixes in Logic Pro. So let's get started. So I'm starting with a project where all of the mix prep steps have been completed, which involved importing the audio files and grouping them together. The tracks have been renamed, icons have been assigned, and the tracks have been color coded. Now I'll work on gain staging the regions. The next thing that I will do is select all of the drums and normalize their region gain to a peak level of negative one. You can do this by going to the functions menu and selecting normalize region gain. The normalize gain dialog box will appear for the settings. I want to affect the individual regions at a peak level of negative one. Before I click apply, I want to mention that this type of normalization is non-destructive. It's not changing the audio file. It is just adjusting the region gain level the same way you can adjust it in the inspector or with the gain tool. I'm doing this to get my drums and other mix elements close to where they should be, and then I'll fine tune from there. I've confirmed the settings and will click apply. I'll select the rest of the tracks and normalize them by using the keyboard shortcut, which is control N on my computer. This time I want to normalize the individual regions using the loudness algorithm with a target level of negative 23. I'll click apply and now the rest of the regions have been normalized. The next thing I'm going to do is insert a gain plugin at the last insert spot of every track. With all of the tracks selected, I'll insert the gain plugins on the tracks. I'll click the link button on the gain plugin currently showing for the kick. I'll select the kick track, move the plugin over a little bit, and then we'll set the gain plugin for each track to negative 5 dB. The reason that I did this is because I want to leave my faders at zero and achieve my balances with the region gain and gain plugins and leave some headroom for my mix bus. Something to remember is that if you adjust the gain at the clip level or the region level, this is before your plugins and will have an impact on how the plugins react. Adjusting the level with the gain plugin is after all of the other plugins, which is why I placed it last on every track. I'm basically just using it in place of the fader. Once I have a good static mix in place, I then use the faders for smaller fine tuning moves and automation. I noticed that my faders are not exactly at zero, so I'll correct this now. Now I'm going to create a quick static mix. I'll start with the kick, which if you remember is normalized to a peak level of negative one. The level on the peak meter for the track is negative 6, which makes sense due to the gain plugin lowering the signal down another 5 dB. With all of the tracks combined, hitting the master bus at a level of between minus 3 to minus 6 is where I want to be. Next, I'll select the overheads and we'll adjust the region gain using the gain tool to set the level. Now I'll adjust the snares region level. I'll adjust the region level for the toms. Add in the bass. the acoustic guitar,
the bazooki. Electric guitar one. Electric guitar two. And finally, the accordion. Now that the static mix has been set, We'll take a look at the master bus. The last reading on the peak meter was negative 2.3, which may be okay. It just depends on how the plugins in the master bus chain react to this level. In this case, for a quick example, I'm using Waves Chris Lord Algae Mixdown plugin, which is designed to where around 3 dB of gain reduction is considered the sweet spot. I'll turn the plugin on and open it to see how hard it's being hit by the incoming level. It's hitting right around where it should be. Now that there's some compression on the master bus, I need to adjust my levels a little bit. check the gain reduction meter one more time and it's still looking good. If my levels feeding into the master bus were a little hot, there are a couple of ways I can trim this back. I can go back to the gain plugins on each track and lower them down some more. I can put a gain plugin at the top of the master bus and lower the gain a little bit, but I don't like doing this. I like to lower the levels of everything feeding the master bus before they sum together. I just prefer the results most of the time. I could also assign VCAs to each group, the drums, bass, acoustic instruments, electric guitars, and keys, and then bring them down a little, which is not a bad option. I could also assign all of the faders to a group titled All Faders, make sure the group is on, and then bring the faders down a little. In a lot of mixes, I find myself using a combination of VCAs and groups to achieve the results I'm after. Well, that's it for now. Please leave me a comment below if I haven't covered something that you have a question on. Also, I'd like to hear how you're using these techniques in your productions. 
I thank you all for watching and for your comments. And finally, thank you for subscribing to this channel. Until next time.